Hello, so this is the little beginning, almost a little teaser for um, a really awesome series that we've just done with my friend Alec here. Uh, so it's all on um, sort of a Gabby spirit. So tequila, mezcal, and a couple of other fun things. Uh, I'm always happy to admit when it's something that I don't know as much about, so very glad that I could have a, a proper expert along. Um, but he did bring a pretty interesting little uh, accoutrement to go alongside, which is um, some crickets, right? Yeah, Mex from Mexico. Yeah. So that's not something I've tried before. So you're going to have to talk me through, you know, what I'm doing here. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'll just show you. This is how we serve it at, in the restaurant. And it's very much how you might get mezcal in, um, in Oaxaca and in many places in Mexico. Uh, serving the mezcal with a little bit of fruit or a little bit of um, something on the side. And those things on the side can range wildly depending on where you are. It could be a bit of cheese, it could be a little bit of dried fruit, or it could be um, crickets, could be some worm salt on a bit of fruit, and um, which is what we're gonna do right now. And this is basically how we're serving some of our uh, nicer um, mezcal in the restaurant. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of orange and I think um, a lot of the reason why it does get uh, done like this is because it's not just to hide the flavor of the mezcal, it actually brings out a lot of different characters in the, in the mezcal, which yeah. I think is really interesting. A little com like complementing rather than competing, I suppose. Yeah, that's right. And so... Oh, that one's not very pretty, but... We're about to eat it anyway. <laughs> so, a little bit of a little cricket. Uh, we'll do a couple of crickets and maybe a little bit of worm salt from these ones. So the worm salt, I like was just describing it because he used it on an awesome uh, cocktail that also, again, you should like and subscribe and all that to make sure that you see him talking you through that. But it's the actual worms that live in the agave plants. Yeah. And they sort of uh, pluck them off when it's being cut down and then you, yeah, uh, you know, sort of grind them up into, into some salt and it's pretty darn delicious. So, I reckon, a little bit of fruit, just, mm -hmm. yeah eat the and then and then follow that with tasting the um yeah the the mezcal all right and you think cricket first yeah cricket first okay here or you just eat it all in one go yeah my first cricket yum mm -hmm. crunchy there we go <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool because we tried this one before and it felt may, way more kind of vegetal, but I think with the fruit alongside it, it's really opened up and bringing out some of those fruit flavors. But then, yeah, that little like savory, crunchy cricket man definitely kind of helps to um, bring out that like more earthy flavor as well. Definitely, yeah, it's, it changes. Yeah. yeah, it really does change it. But I think the other crickets bring a little bit of that umami-esque mm. element to it. And a bit of crunch, definitely. <laughs> yeah. You know, you need to get your protein in. We need sustainable protein now more than ever. So I'm all on board. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And try the worm salt one. Yeah, go for it. Might need a little tiny little bit more. That salt is so good, it's like a little bit smoky as well. Which transfers through a little bit and mm. yeah, it brings out those more kind of, again, like that real kind of earthy, savory note rather than being quite as fruity as when I had that first sip with just the cricket and the orange. You see, for me, that because I get might be the the salt and the worm, but now it you get more of the fruitier notes of the mm. of the mezcal, whereas the after the cricket I got the earthier maybe notes. Yeah, right. I feel like I got it the other way. The other way around. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Everybody's palate's different. <laughs> it's and, true. Such is life. Yeah. But in general, fruity, earthy, and savory, and delicious, and just 
a pretty awesome little experience there. So yeah. thank you very much for that. No, yeah, you're welcome. Mezcal with crickets and worm salt. 299. <laughs>